I thought I could do it and uh, the opportunity was given to me. Talk to us briefly. I don't know. How would you describe that period of heading the technical team of the Black Stars? You have been a captain and now you are ret returning as a coach of that team. How would you describe it? It was, it was very, very ch challenging. Uh, it was uh, the biggest I had chance I've had, you know, as far as the coaching career was concerned. And so I embrace it, uh, knowing that it's going to be difficult. But of course, uh, when I started, unluckily, unfortunately for me, COVID okay. came a lot of obstacles, a lot of challenges, you know, and I kept changing the team because sometimes you're going to uh, play a match, you invited players, you see that COVID, players are injured, you know, sometimes we selected a chunk of the players locally, knowing that maybe we might use them because then the, the English teams were not going yeah, to allow yeah, fans. Yes. It was always, always a problem. I never had one squad in two, in, like in two matches. Today, uh, in two weeks or three weeks' time, or in a month's time, the team will change. So it was very, very challenging, challenging for me. And unfortunately, um, I had to leave uh, the position. Your first job, I, I remember your first game was against Mali in Turkey. You were beaten handsomely, hands mm -hmm. down. Yeah, it was a welcome message for me. <laughs> and then <laughs> the second match, the second match, we quickly uh, yeah, got against, it right. We were, yeah, Qatar, uh, a very big team. We yeah. were also preparing for work. How I many? It was five. Yeah, five, five one or five, so. Five, one or so. Yeah. We won, which was good. And then we had. Uh, um, other qualifier matches yeah. we went through, we lost to uh, Mali, uh, sorry, uh, Sudan yeah. at a very close uh, contest. Contest, yeah. you know. We won here, and then South Africa, we drew, in, you know, we qualified for the, we managed to qualify for the AFCON, and then the World Cup started, which was uh, with, um, before then we had two friendlies, which was very yeah. huge, yeah. Morocco, Morocco yeah. and Africa, which yeah, I think. I saw a glimpse of what could happen, what could happen in, in the near future. If I've had the Eventually, quality of players, yeah. the quality of players, what we, we could do at that time. Even that, we didn't have all the other squad. But you know, at a certain point, we, we realized that, no, we could do this, we could do that, which was very, very positive. And then we played South Africa, also no full squad, yeah. no full squad. We went there. Almost to the end of the game, we lost, and I lost my job. That was your, that was the last day. Yeah, the, the, the mm -hmm. last. The, yes. I remember. Was it September six? Yeah, you remember? 6th. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what what this says, but many people actually took a look at the way you were changing the squad, and they accused you of favoring certain players over others. I was You see, what a lot of people would talk because they are outside. They don't know what was going on. You know, there were players. Who couldn't have come? There were players who were available. They had come previous matches. They, they didn't do well. Maybe there was opportunity for me to, if I've had a full squad, I wouldn't yes. invite them again. You know, some players like uh, uh, Lomote, for instance. Yeah. Lomote, it got to it. I wasn't happy with it, so I was not going to invite him. Uh, the, the but why was he always a mainstay in the team? No, no, he was. He wasn't. Be he was because, like I told you, the situation. If you are going to use a player who had had a chance of playing and somebody who has not had any experience at all. Well, who will you pick? But you told us you had a pool of 40 players, so it means that you could do you could, you could No. A pool of 40 players. I'm saying the 40 players which I had, maybe 20 players were out. Well, at that time I had them, but when we got to the time to invite the players, I couldn't get them. More, that was what was happening. You know, there was a time we even invited uh, Fatal, is it Fat Fatal, the goalkeeper? Yeah, Fatal Dauda. Yeah, Fatal yeah. Dauda. Yes. He was not part of the, but something happened. Immediately, I couldn't speak, bring it out. Something happened with the goalkeepers. What happened? So, somebody was, was some, one of them had uh, COVID. Oh, okay. And we couldn't take him along. So, what, and it was the day, I think the, uh, the, the day or a day or two before we, le we left. Yeah. You can't invite the time of inviting a player to fly. It's out. You have to do something immediately. You understand me? So it was always challenging. Always challenging. I can understand the argument of certain people. Yes. You know, 
I could also understand those who didn't like me as a coach at that time. They, they favored other people. But you see, we, we must be patient. We must be patient. Did they impose mm. players on you? Did the GFA impose players on you? Well, this is everywhere. We've already discussed it. It's everywhere. There were players. You know, everybody has, if I ask you to choose players, then even you, you choose players that I don't, I don't, I don't want. But there's a possibility we can also choose players and the difference might just be one or two players. I, I agree. Yes. You know, so there was this situation, but I had to make a, make a, a, a final... A, you had the final say on the squad that was being selected. It was always a challenge, a situation where it was challenging, very, very challenging.